Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey, and today I'm bringing you this great gameplay I got here. I go on a 20 kill streak. This is in fact Team Deathmatch, and it is of course in Ghost for the Nintendo Wii U. Now I managed to get a Maniac kill streak, which is my first time getting a Maniac kill streak, and so far my only time I've gotten one, and this primarily is my best gameplay. I should start playing Team Deathmatch more, since it seems I do well here. And of course, I started with the Pro Controller, because every time there is a new Call of Duty on the Wii U, I try to find out which controller I'm gonna use uh, throughout the career, or throughout my career on this game, and whichever Call of Duty game. For example, I've moved from the Wii Remote to the Classic Controller Pro to back to the Wii Remote to the Pro Controller, and it seems at the moment that I'm going to stick with the Wii Remote through my Ghost career on the Wii U, so I'm liking it. Right here, you can see I, I die. I die several, I die twice with the Pro Controller. However, once I stick out that Wii Remote, let me tell you, they never saw it coming. I just go on a rampage basically, a 20 kill streak with the Wii Remote. I was very pleased because I, I need confirmation. I, I want to know if I'm if I'm decent in the, at this game, and I think I definitely handled it here with the Wii Remote. I am using the default settings on the Wii Remote. I have not yet adjusted them. And that's the problem I, I seem to find on the Wii versions of Call of Duty. That no matter whether or not the settings are more or less the same. And every single iteration of Call of Duty that comes out for the Wii U, every single game is gonna require you to tweak the settings towards the game. So basically, I tried using the settings that I have in Reflex Call of Duty 4 for the Wii U, and mm -mm, didn't work out. I was I couldn't aim, so I set it back to default, and I I got this gameplay right here. So I really think. It, it, it works good. I am using aim assist, and that's primarily because I'm still getting my bearings with the game. Hopefully, uh, once I actually start, you know, once I actually get my Wii Remote to be uh, where I like it, I'll get rid of aim assist, and that usually takes a while. I, I need to discover what settings are going to work great for me, but I'm using the defaults right now, and they seem to be working just fine. Hopefully, I can customize them to my liking soon. So... With that said, I think the Wii Remote is definitely fixed. It certainly feels a lot better, a lot smoother, a lot more controlled than it felt in Black Ops 2. Which is great, because after many patches, and obviously they stopped supporting the Black Ops 2 Wii U version at some point, they never really quite got the settings correct. So it's nice to see that they actually managed to get the settings pretty fine working uh, at this point and I definitely encourage you guys to try out the Wii Remote. I know a lot of people say that if you're going to play on the Nintendo Wii U that you need to use the Wii U Remote or I'm sorry, the Wii Remote. See, I find this argument very uh, invalid because the Wii Remote motion control that was the Wii's thing. The Wii U's thing is tablets. Oh yeah, you better believe it. And guess what the tablet has? Dual analog sticks. So whether or not you use whatever you want to, just go ahead and don't complain. I personally feel inadequate when I get killed by pro controllers, and well, I can assume they're pro controllers, but dual analog. Uh, however, when I'm on the other side of the boat, when I'm using dual analog, I kind of despise Wii Remote users. So it's kind of a, a feeling of... Uh, I don't know, I just don't... I can't get a hang of the controller. I tried using the Pro Controller, I used it a lot, and it took me about a week to get used to it on Black Ops 2, and I <laughs> I did very good for myself in that game. I managed to get all of my kill streaks almost every game, and I even bothered trying. Hell, I wouldn't even try, and I'd get my kill streaks. So, uh, I feel a little bit inadequate right now that I can't really get my kill streaks like nothing. Uh, but then again, I usually feel that way with every single iteration of Call of Duty to come out on the Wii U up until I actually get used to the game. So, I definitely encourage you guys to use whatever controller you wish to use, and if it feels difficult to use, of course, just remember that it does take some getting used to. Personally, I find the Wii Remote just absolutely fantastic, and I love it because as a multi-console gamer, going from the DualShock 3 controller and to the Pro controller really messes me up. 
button wise and it gives my thumbs cramps when I'm using uh, when I go from having my thumbs out to having my thumbs in so I definitely like the Wii Remote a lot more for that simple reason that it just feels so different that I'm definitely not going to mix buttons and I definitely encourage the Wii Remote because the buttons are all in the perfect position that they should be you can jump sprint do all that fantastic stuff unlike with the Pro Controller or other dual analog sticks where other buttons such as jump and or knife are in very awkward positions anyways as you can see I'm playing the Maniac fairly effectively. I'm destroying any sort of equipment I find, any kill streaks that I find, and I am just going ham with this knife. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely encourage you try out the Wii remote if you can. And thank you guys for watching. Nos partidos, ¿no? Se cuidan. Yo no tengo inglés. Con su... Vale. Sí, ok. Vemos Santa Muerte. <risa>